Well, next we head west to downtown Memphis, where people gather every weekend to take in the music and magic of Beale Street. But there's another new old destination worth your time, too. It's all thanks to a group of artists who've taken their talents to South Main. In the shadows of downtown Memphis, South Main Street is home to a lot of history and Bluff City landmarks, like the old Grand Central train station, or the arcade restaurant, the oldest cafe still operating in the city. Now, if the place looks familiar to you, there's good reason. You see, the arcade's been featured in more than a dozen movies lately, everything from The Client to 21 Grams with Johnny Depp. Lately, though, it's become the cornerstone of something pretty exciting, bringing folks back to this part of Memphis, the South Main Arts District. It's a collection of cozy galleries and studios that make the district a worthwhile destination for lovers of original art. Deborah Taylor was one of the pioneers when she opened her The Edge Gallery in 1999. Now, this gallery is a showcase for local folk artists, including herself. I like to put together things that you wouldn't expect to be together and work on materials that are discarded or have no meaning. It's like, well, you know, when you see uh, a headboard outside, I mean, it's like, well, what can you do with that instead of dumping it? And it just comes up with a lot of possibilities. On the day of my visit to The Edge, Memphis artist N.J. Woods was at work using acrylics to paint one of her trademark rural scenes. A country girl by heart, she draws inspiration from childhood visits to her grandmother's farm down in Mississippi. Even now, I can still see us running around, you know, in the, in the backyard, the chickens and picking blackberries and all this. And I absolutely, I just enjoyed it. I loved it. At night, we'd go out and look for the man in the moon. And uh, in the daytime, we try to catch sunbeams, that, that sort of thing. We were poor, we had no toys, no money, so we were always after something. Chickens, bugs, birds, just whatever nature would give us. Ever since the early 90s, George Hunt's art has been used to celebrate the Beale Street Music Festival. Well, now the former football coach, uh, avid blues fan, and now famous artist is helping put Deborah's gallery and this whole district on the arts map. He's the leader of the pack, and not just Memphis. He has national recognition, but as far as, you know, having him in Memphis, it's like, can you believe it? Because <laughs> he could have moved probably anywhere, New York, Atlanta, just wherever, but he chose to stay here. The exuberant works of this former football coach and teacher have attracted the attention of art collectors and critics nationwide. George introduced me to some of the characters in his paintings here on display at The Edge. Mary the Wonder. Now, who was this? Well, Mary the Wonder was, uh, for lack of a better word, a hoodoo woman that uh, frequented Beale Street back in the late 30s and 40s. They said she had long braided hair and she smoked these cigars and had these uh, outrageous hats and I'm fascinated by female hats. This man here is a monica player and I'm a, I'm a, a lover of Picasso. It's, uh, I, he was the first artist whose work I saw. She a little influence uh -huh. here. And uh, I always tell people that I've been influenced by Picasso. And Dr. Scat. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Wow. Scat. Uh, there was a lot of medicine men that when I was a boy that would travel through selling medicine and this kind of thing. This is just an interpretation of one of these individuals. You can kind of see back up in here, love me oil, oh, which yeah. is, you know, you get some oil and you rub on it and the lady touches she, you know, you, she was attracted to you, follow you home, that kind of thing. This is what the doctor would say. And this, this oil costs a dollar bottle. You know, did, did it work? Uh, I never did get my hands on any of it. Okay. <laughs> this one here was another lady that was a, a religious person from New Orleans. Gertrude Morgan was her name. She had a sign and it said the Everlasting Gospel Mission. And I put all of these together to create a personal image paying my respects to Sister Gertrude Morgan, who took in all the indigent people 
uh, in the city of New Orleans from mm -hmm. 1940 till maybe 1980, which yeah. was a 40 year period of time. You, you capture some interesting characters <laughs> in these uh, paintings. Uh -huh. And this has to be one here, Aunt Caroline Dye. Aunt Caroline Dye from Newport, Arkansas, somewhat close to maybe your birthplace. It, it was indeed. <laughs> but you can see the, the fascination that I have with uh, Picasso in, he, he. in doing this rendering. Uh, and I like found objects and put all kinds of stuff together. Maybe this was an old commissary ticket that came out of a, <laughs> a store back in the mid-50s that I put together in there. And you can see here, this is a, something off an old dress. And this was the latest car set that I put in here. Oh, the really? old car set that I put back off in there. And fabric that I found at a, at a dump pile, or a yard sale, or something like wow. that. This painting marked a career highlight for George. It appeared on a postage stamp after its discovery by a former first lady. It was first that Mrs. Clinton said, well, uh, George, we'd like to take this back to Washington, to the White House. And uh, I was thinking, well, mine in the White House, you know? And uh, all my life, I had a hard time getting up to the big house. <laughs> <laughs> to succeed, the South Main Arts District needs more galleries like The Edge and more high-profile talents like George Hunt. But as long as folks continue to seek out art, there will be folk artists offering it here on South Main. I think as time goes on, you know, Memphis will be discovered, uh, not just for their music. Music is, a, you know, a big hit here, but so are the arts, the artists.